Hello everyone, this is a collective reading. It is not sign specific. So if you were intuitively drawn here, the messages could resonate for you. All right, what's going on here for the collective? I do have the letter R, like Rebecca, Rita, Reba, Richard. Rico, anything like that, like just an R name. If that could resonate for some of you. Again, take what resonates, leave what does not. Delicate and maybe. Masculine and karma. What is going on here for the collective? What is happening? We have the sign of Virgo. So for some of you, I mean, you could be have Virgo in your chart significantly, your person could. Or Virgo season could be really, really very relevant for some of you, which, like I said, we are um, going to be entering Virgo season this month. Time is fluid, though, so whenever you view this, it could resonate for you. What is going on here? The same as when you met this person around Virgo season. We also have Pisces here. Again, same thing applies. We have winter. And lust. Ooh. Now, under the deck, it does say secluded. I mean, that kind of gives me like a winter secluded, passionate getaway or something. I don't know what you guys got going on. Delicate. Someone's got to be careful in their approach of something. I feel like someone doesn't want to offend or hurt someone. And there could be other zodiac signs involved. We'll, we'll pull tarot and, and see what else comes through. But for some of you, these could be very significant. Delicate, maybe. Masculine karma. I think someone's really worried about how to approach a situation, trying to be kind of careful and cautious. They can't really make any kind of guarantees, you know, when we see maybe, it's like, it's kind of up in the air still, like they'll try or something, or they'll try to make it happen, they'll try to make it work, but they don't know what will happen just yet. They don't want to make any promises. They don't want to hurt or offend the other person. There's a lot of lust, obviously, with this card. And, but someone's worried. We see karma. It's like someone's worried about something, worried about possibly the repercussions of like this lust or this desire, maybe get them in trouble or something. Like this is a, a, a difficult or delicate situation. Someone may be dealing with a masculine energy. Okay, let us, we got the overall energy. So let's pull the cards. I'm gonna um, put these to the side, okay? just so that we have them here for reference. And which deck are we gonna use? Okay. All right, clear messages. Ooh, did y'all just see these two cards like fly up and link? Okay, the judgment in the reverse and the two of wands in the reverse. It's like maybe someone could not see something clearly in the past. They were not able to make a decision. They don't know yet what's going to happen. Like maybe a plan falls through. Okay, let, that's interesting. I'm gonna put this over here. And we're going to keep going. So, what is the overall energy here, please? Okay, what is the situation? We're going to do your energy, their energy, what is between you, the obstacle, the challenge. Please remember that some of the energies can be reversed. Okay. Your energy, their energy. Ooh. Okay. What's between you? Uh, are you married to this person or are you married to other people? Uh, this could be third party. This is the obstacle. Now, either someone is like an alcoholic or there's... A, some cheating going on here or something. Let's see. Thought, oh, thoughts about you. Feelings, intention. Oh my goodness. Actions. Well. Okay. Um, this is intense. Somebody doesn't know how to approach a situation. I, okay, I'm going to be... Again, these are these are intended for a large collective, so take what resonates if it is not. 
Um, I do want to quickly say this though, I do put out uh, readings every week for each individual zodiac sign. So please, if this resonates for you, and even if it does not, check out your moon, rising, Venus, your sun sign, uh, for additional messages and guidance for more specific messages. Um, I think this is a situation where someone is actually already com in a committed relationship. This might be someone that maybe you work with, um, but there's a lot of like sexual chemistry, like sexual tension with you and this person. Like you might be hoping for an opportunity to, to be alone with this person, but under that it's just disaster. So be just be careful because again, we see delicate. And then we see like maybe they cannot make a promise or something may fall through. Um, we have, like I said, Pisces, Virgo, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, very strongly. I mean, it could be any sign, but that's the most, that's what's heavily coming through. Um, with the Three of Swords and your energy, this is like heartbreak. Like something has really hurt you, disappointed you, maybe to find out this person's already involved or, you know, they could not fall through with something. Um, like pain. Like it can feel like a betrayal. This person is very confused about you, okay? Your energy, their energy. It's like their situation really affects you. Um, it's very painful, it's overwhelming, it's, it's a lot of sadness, a lot of hurt here. And then their energy with the Seven of Cups, it's about confusion, it's about choices kind of feeling overwhelmed by this entire situation. There's a lot going on for this person. This person might, may have many things on their plate, you know, many obstacles, challenges, daily tasks, uh, because the Seven of Cups can really show just a lot, right? It can show people, it can show work situations, family, home situations, money, um, ambitions, fears, just all these different things that collectively pile up for this person, making them feel very over. So sorry if you guys hear my little kids. Um, but this person may have a lot of things going on collectively, okay? Um, this can also talk about choices and confusion. It's like this person may be having a difficult choice between you and another person, or multiple options even. What's between you and this person, like, we have the hair font. So it could be that you're you're already married to this person, and they're entertaining other options, and maybe, maybe you are the spouse, and you found out about a third party. And it's crazy conflict. Other, or for some of you, it could be that maybe there was a discovery about a commitment, and... don't know how to approach this situation because the obstacle is three of cups like dating fun you know flirtation excitement but is it as serious as you want it to be like is it just dating is it just lust is you know is there more to it are there emotions maybe this person doesn't tell you how they feel about you um maybe you want something more serious but this person's not sure what they want they have not made a decision Okay. Um, for somebody like I said, this could be a workplace situation. You know, there's eight of pentacles under the deck. And there's like feeling overwhelmed or confused by this. They don't know how to approach it because maybe you're not supposed to date this person. Maybe they're the boss or something. But I feel like there's, I feel like you're dealing with someone who is somehow married. Either you are the other person or you're the spouse. But there's other options being entertained here. I think that this person actually may have more options than just two people, but they're primarily focused on two specific people, like someone they're married with and someone that they are in some type of love affair with. Their thoughts about you with the Ace of Wands, well, we, should, we see a lot of like lust, right? Um, the Ace of Wands, you know, it's not always just about physical things. However, you know, they really depict it here as like something that is forbidden, something that you cannot stay away from because you're just drawn to it. You know, it's like the flame is too hot, but you know, it's like I can't stay away. Like I just, you know, like a moth to a flame, you feel drawn to. They talk about like a lot of intense, like physical desire and deep attraction between you and this person. And again, we saw the lust card. Like someone afraid of the consequences. Maybe. You know, there's a desire, but there's a fear. We also have the like, winter, which does feel also very relevant for some of you. Like, that could be like, you could have met this person in winter, or somehow some kind of plan or hope that something may come together by then. 
um, the feelings with the chariot, well, I mean, there is a lot of really deep feelings, deep emotions here. I mean, this person finds you very beautiful, attractive, but there's also a lot of excitement, too. Let's pull um, some clarification cards. What is this person's thoughts about you? Aside from just like the, the physical stuff, what do they think about you as a person? What do they think about you? What are their thoughts about you? What are their thoughts? Wow. <laughs> okay, first of all, you could have strong fire in your chart. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, but again, look very fiery. So, like, so not only are you someone that's very strong, very confident, you know, even if you don't always feel that way, they view you as someone who is someone who doesn't take anybody's, you know, crap. You know, you stand up for yourself. You're very strong. You're very intelligent. You're very resourceful. You know, you work hard. You're very ambitious. You're very exciting, adventurous. You're fun. You know, you're not somebody who's dull. And no, that is not me saying that other people are all dull, but they find you very interesting, fascinating, fun. You know, um, so again, the Queen of Wands can be like a mistress or the other woman sometimes as well so they could do you that way but like you are also a temptation because the queen of wands also is like the most beautiful the most attractive queen in the deck so there can be like a lot of physical attractions a person thinks about when they do think about you um like you're a temptation they're constantly having to like resist or something they can feel like you're both kind of on the same page or want the same things or have like the same interest you know, there is like a drive for like success, like determination towards you. What do they feel? What does this person feel? Stuck against Pisces energy. What do they feel? This is not easy, you know, but there's also like this not wanting to give up. Tens are about completion, so it's not, all, they know it's not always going to be like this. What do they feel? The High Priestess, Pisces, Cancer, energy. Sometimes she can represent Virgo. Um, well, it's like they can feel that there's something like a secret relationship. And it is very challenging. And there are secrets here. And there's fears about, like, karma or judgment. You know, um, the consequence. This is a delicate matter. They don't know what to do with it. The intentions, though, with the lovers, you know, is about, like, coming together. But this person may sense or feel your energy, even when you're not physically there. You kind of see how he's, like, a shadow person or, like, a, um, and she's, like, in the physical. This is person's, like, spiritually there with this person, for the connected to this person, Gemini energy. What are their intentions? Well, they don't want to leave or make any kind of change. This person is stuck. This person is in their mind. But their situation hasn't really changed. They may still be in some kind of commitment or family situation they feel trapped in. But again, energetically, energetically, they're still connected to you. They're still with you, though they may be in another situation. The actions, we see this person kind of taking responsibility. You know, focus on their family, their personal life, their home life, their commitment. I always recommend you guys get personal readings, if not with me, with someone that you trust. Somebody that you know will actually tell you the truth. They're, they're staying stuck. And now, it doesn't mean that it can never change. It would not change. But, you know, collectively, we're reading for a lot of people. And I see there's, like, a third-party situation still here. Someone who is holding back, staying, maybe for the sake of money. There could be an opportunity here to, to have some kind of, to like, see this person in, like, some kind of, like, environment. But just be careful. I think there's, like, something about caution here. Like, thinking about each other, trying to heal the situation. But someone who is still stuck. Someone who has not made a choice. Someone who is trying to make a decision. Like some kind of awakening or some kind of news might even get revealed. So just be cautious here. Um, like I said, winter could be relevant for some of you. This one of those things I definitely say, I definitely get a personal reading. Looks like I think this is kind of a complex situation. And, you know, the advice and like actions of this person would definitely like vary from person to person if this is your story. But I see this person like still involved, still in a situation, but energetically, emotionally, it's still connected to you. But like they are still involved in some situation. This third party that like, continues, it's not like resolved, at least not in like the immediate future. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations and super chats. And it's greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.